Hello and welcome to a U3A web demonstration video on how to set up an initial password if you don't already have one or have simply forgotten your previous one. This video has been made using one of our U3A test systems so your screen may look slightly different but the basic functionality and location of buttons will be in a similar place. The prerequisite for gaining and or changing a password to access the member section of your U3A website is that you have an email address registered with your U3A and a membership number. So this is how the basic screen will look if you go to your U3A website address but you are currently in the non-member section. Now the first thing to notice is the gold toolbar across the top of the screen and this gives you access to some of the fixed functions in U3A web and the one that we're concentrating on for this demonstration is the login link. If you click on this link a new pop-up window is presented asking you for your membership number and a password. Below this in the bottom left hand corner of that pop-up is a link that says forgotten password. If you simply click on this link a new window will be presented asking you for the email address which is the one you have registered with the U3A and your membership number. So I will pre-populate that with uh, an email address that we use for these demonstrations and also the membership number of our member that we're looking at which is 8122 and then you click on submit. Another pop-up window will appear confirming that a reset password has been emailed to the address you gave if the details are confirmed by the system. So what we'll do now is we'll switch to the email client that and you can see here that there is a new email come in and we'll click on that email and you can see that this is a reset for Dear Dustin Hoffman. We've got some very famous uh, members in this uh, particular test website and below that it says you have requested that we send a revised login password. Your new password is and you can either at this point make a note of that password making sure that you keep the letters in the correct case so upper and lower case is important uh, or alternatively you can just copy that onto your pasteboard. You then need to switch back to your U3A web screen and click on login again. This time we will put in the right details and we shall paste in the new password and click on login. You'll now be passed into the member section logged in as you and you can see up the top here that we are uh, logged in as Dustin Hoffman. Now what you should do is you should immediately go to change password uh, because the system password you've got, that's all very well, but you need something that you can remember that's more personal to you and that you'll remember. So you do have to stay within the confines of whatever your U3A has uh, dictated as being the uh, password format, but the previous password it asked for is the one that you have just gained from your email inbox. So we put that in there and we now put in a new password. So in this case we will put Joe, we won't put caps in there, that's silly. S-E-P-H-1, we'll put in Joseph1. Now you can show that password if you so require by clicking on the show password text at the side. And you can see there I've put in Joseph1. It now asks you to confirm your new password. So we'll put in Joseph1 and click on OK. The system goes away and you have now updated your password. So Dustin Hoffman has now done a password request uh, for a new password or a password reset, whichever he's doing, and he has now changed his password to something more personal to him. So that's the end of this demonstration, so you can now administer your passwords in the U3A web system. Thanks very much and bye bye.